Good morning, how are you guys doing today? So we are here at the Spring Hill Suite here in Lafayette, Louisiana. Uh, we got here kind of late yesterday and uh, the original plan was uh, to go do a review at the uh, Lanier Seafood Buffet here in Lafayette, Louisiana. Uh, if you haven't heard about uh, Lanier, uh, you should look it up. Uh, it's a very popular seafood buffet here. But uh, so instead of going to the Lanier Seafood Buffet, we went to uh, this place down the street. It's called Louisiana Crawfish Time. And we had the crawfish and then we had the uh, oyster and it was pretty good and the price wasn't bad either It was around um, $88 for the four of us uh, before tips and yeah, and uh, after that when we got home uh, I basically passed out on the, this couch uh, The couch looked comfortable and it is really is comfortable uh, And the pillow they give you very soft and one thing I like about this place is that uh, it's very spacious here. I even have like an office space right there. We're gonna actually work on a video, but I was just too tired yesterday. And the bed was very comfortable too. And yeah, and they have a half like a um, you know, mini fridge, microwave, everything you need in here. So I like that a lot. And, uh, and also give you a free breakfast. Uh, so uh, right now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, finish the uh, breakfast. Uh, the breakfast that they give you is uh, nothing, uh, nothing fancy. It's just uh, eggs and then sausage and then bagel, milk, cereals and fruit. Uh, but it's free. So, yeah. So after we finish the breakfast, uh, we're gonna head out and go to the um, Tabasco factory. Um, like I mentioned before, a couple of videos ago, um, besides sriracha, uh, Tabasco is also one of my favorite hot sauce. And uh, the original factory is here in uh, Avery Island. I heard that uh, they also have like a gift shop and they also have like a little restaurant there. So we can go there and then do a review on the food and stuff like that. So it should be a fun day. Right now, the weather, <laughs> it doesn't look too good. And last night when we got here, man, it was pouring down. So we thought we didn't make it. But hopefully the weather will be uh, better today. And uh, we're gonna have a fun day today. So anyways, if you guys are ready for this uh, Tabasco factory tour, let's go. AKA Vomino. Right in front of us, we have the Tabasco Museum and then the Tabasco Country Store and over there is the restaurant. Good afternoon, ma'am. There you go. How are you? What's the first name? Our first name is David. That's your pass okay. while you're doing the Tabasco tour. Okay. It is also your admission at Jungle Gardens. Okay, so when you finish here, mm -hmm. drive over there. You saw the signs? Mm -hmm. Go in at the gift shop. Mm -hmm. This lets them know you're all paid up. Okay. They give you a map and tell you how to drive through Jungle Garden. Yeah. What is Jungle Garden anyway? So? It's a three mile nature trail. It's okay. very pretty over there. On nice. it, they have uh, alligator ponds, turtle ponds, Bird City is over there. Okay. The and nesting. Okay. Um, the Buddha statue and lagoon are over there. Okay. Sunken Garden, Palm Garden. It's it's just a nature trail. Yes, ma'am. You can walk or drive. I definitely recommend driving. Okay. All right. You can stop All right. at the points of interest. Okay. All right. Some mini Tabascos right. for each of you. All right. Thank you, ma'am. And this is our map. And you are going to start right here. Okay. Right here. Then down the sidewalk. Okay. Follow the numbers and arrows on the post oh. at the end of the road. Yes, ma'am. The country store has mm -hmm. a Tabasco tasting bar in the back. Okay. So if y'all would like, uh, be sure and run by there and do some samples. Yes, ma'am. And uh, what time does the uh, the restaurant close? Because I heard it closed at 2? 2.30. 2.30. Okay. All right. Uh, yes, and it's 12.45 now. So okay. you might want to do the museum, then go eat lunch, and then do this. Mm -hmm. I mean, however y'all want to do it. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. You're welcome. Right. You have a good day. Have fun. Thank you. Thank you. They give you mini Tabasco. It's a bunch of them. All different flavor. Okay. 
All right, so we're gonna start off with the uh, museum tour. And here we have the museum. Do you guys remember that? The CD day. Welcome to Avery Island Museum. I'm going to ask a word of the size since 1868. Seated on the northern rim of the semi tropics, Avery Island offers a perfect environment for growing a fiery little red pepper that, when mashed, mixed with salt, it is and is blended with vinegar, has forever changed the way the world eats. Avery Island is not only home to our world famous pepper sauce, but it also serves as a sanctuary for hundreds of species of plants and animals. Since we began producing Tabasco sauce, we've done our best to take care of the land that's been so good to us. Whether it's replanting the precious marshes, or providing a safe haven for the once endangered egret, we consider yeah. each task a small step toward preserving the land and more generations to come. Today, the island covers about 2,200 acres, stretching nearly two and a half miles across at its widest point, and 163 feet. So in this room is where you can learn about the uh, history of the family. Uh, it's a little video I want to show you guys real quick. If you guys don't want to learn about it, you can just skip forwards, but it's pretty interesting. The Mackle Bay family prides itself on the remarkable history. <laughs> <laughs> hailed from Scotland, immigrated to Ireland, and settled around the mid-1700s in Pennsylvania and Maryland. Edward McElhenney, future inventor of Tabasco sauce, was born in 1815 in Hagerstown, Maryland. As a young man, he pursued a career in finance, and around 1840 moved to New Orleans, where he found work at the Bank of Louisiana. By the late 1850s, Edward had amassed a small fortune and had become an independent bank. The Civil War, however, left his fortune in ruin. In the aftermath of the South's defeat, no one had money to pay back loans to the bank. Yet out of that financial desperation, Edmund arrived at a peculiar idea to make a pepper sauce and sell it. The result? Tabasco pepper sauce. It took years of hard work to establish in the marketplace, revealing much about Edmund's resolve and his faith in his invention. Edmund's eldest son, John Avery McElhaney, took over the Tabasco operations after his father's death in 1890. John expanded production and tirelessly explored new ways to advertise Tabasco. In 1898, however, he resigned from the company to join Theodore Roosevelt's Rough Riders Cavalry Regiment. As a member of this regiment, John stormed San Juan Heights in Cuba and became one of Roosevelt's most trusted confidants. Meanwhile, John's younger brother, Edward Avery McElhaney, a conservationist and naturalist, explored the treacherous Arctic Circle. Edward first sailed to the Arctic in 1894 when his ship hit a submerged reef and sank off the coast of Greenland. Rescued, he voyaged again to the Arctic in 1897 helping to rescue over a hundred Maroon sailors. Returning home, Edward took over the Tabasco business and ran it for the next 51 years, all while studying the island's plants and animals and contributing immensely to the fledgling conservation movement. He eventually converted his 176-acre private estate into what is now known as Jungle Gardens. Succeeding him in the family business was nephew Walter S. McElhaney, a U.S. Marine Corps Reserve officer. Walter joined the Marines in 1935 as a private. He later distinguished himself in combat during World War II and retired as a Brigadier General. Walter and his successor, biologist Ned McElhenney Simmons, modernized Tabasco sauce production and marketing, most notably in the realm of global exports. Toward the end of the 20th century, all McElhenney Edmund's great-grandson assumed the presidency. A bon vivant and outdoorsman, Paul developed a number of successful ancillary products, from Tabasco neckties to steak sauce, and dramatically expanded Tabasco co-branding and licensing partnerships. Today, Tony Simmons, Edmund's great-great-grandson, resides over McElhenney Company, assisted by his cousin Harold Osborne and Tony's son John Simmons. The company remains a privately held partner, owned solely by 
descendants of Edmund McElhenney. And in this room is uh, the process of how they go from uh, sea to bottle. So it's another video, you guys want to watch it. The children's control are just in the process of making their ass besides speaking to the people for the time. Each fall harvest, the Michael Green family members select some of their finest plants, extracting seeds from them. Because they are now, the seeds are planted in the greenhouse where seedlings grow to be about a foot tall by a foot and are ready to be planted in the fields. By August, these seedlings have become mature purple plants whose pods turn from green to yellow to orange and finally to a bright red. The bright red peppers are not yet ground the same day into mash, mixed with a little salt and placed into white oak barrels. This is made in our barrel warehouse for up to three years. After aging, the mash is inspected by a McElhenney family member. The approved mash is sent to him where it's mixed with hot quality vinegar and two or three weeks. The sauce is then run to a mill to remove the pepper skins, seeds, and pour it into the mouth. Audible, half, label, and seal each bottle before it is placed in a carton, then boxed to be shipped around the world. Today, we produce hundreds of thousands of bottles per day, enough to mask them to defend the entire world against bland food. After the museum, the tour continued this way. Barrel aging, blending, experience. Let's go see the greenhouse pepper. Can you read the signs here? What does it say? Here we have the Tabasco greenhouse. Wow! You know, we have this at home. This is your Tabasco greenhouse. This is jalapeno. This is uh, the habanero. That's the one that you can't handle, honey. And right here, that's the uh, Tabasco. Tabasco pepper. They have the big pepper here, right? Yeah, big pepper. That's the uh, habanero. No, no, this is a jalapeno. And here we have the Barrel Museum. There's Whoa! Wow. Like it smells like chili. You don't like it? No, I don't like it. Hey, look at the kid. It smells good. A kid can't handle the, the smell. I'm like, that's fine to me. You must leave, honey. Over here, they have this uh, video that tell you about the process of the barrel. Uh, you guys want to watch? I press start. If not, you can skip it to the next uh, part of the video. Welcome to the Barrel Warehouse, a place where time and tradition are honored and celebrated. The most important part of the Tabasco production process. This is where the sauce's distinct flavor evolves. As soon as ripe, Red Tabasco peppers are hand-picked from the fields. They are mixed with a dash of salt and ground into a pulp called mash. The mash is placed into white oak barrels. First, however, the barrels are carefully cleaned in preparation for their use in aging the pepper mash. Then, coopers replace all original barrel hoops with stainless steel hoops. Once the barrels have been properly restored, they are filled with a newly ground pepper mash. Topped by a layer of salt to keep out impurities, the barrels are stacked one on top of another, up to six high. Inside the barrels, the mash ages for up to three years, allowing the flavors to fully evolve and the raw pepper mash to gradually melt. After the aging is complete, a McElhenney family member checks the mash for flavor and heat level. Once approved, the mash is transferred to the Tabasco factory. There, under careful guidance, it will become the Basco pepper sauce. And here we have the barrel warehouse viewing window. Wow! You see the salt on top right there? To keep out the impurity? And it's gonna stay in here for three years to give you that taste. But it does smell though. It does smell a little bit because you know it's gonna be aged for three years. <laughs> Look at my kids. Really guys? It smells good. It smells like gumbo. And you guys see this? Bunch of bamboo. Yeah. Pretty cool. This is the 1921 Ford Model T. Can you guys imagine uh, riding this in 1921 and playing that song? They see me rolling, they hating, patrolling. Look at this. All right. So, 
Up next is gonna be number four, which is gonna be uh, blending. Five, which is gonna be Avery Island experience. Six is gonna be salt mine experience. And then seven, bottling. And then eight is gonna be food flavor and Tabasco today. Wow, you guys see this old armor truck? They got Tabasco pepper. They cage it up just in case you wanna steal one. <gasps> when you walk in, you can smell it right away. Look at the blending process. All right, number five, Avery Island experience. Well, you don't smell it in here though. So earlier she said there was a Buddha temple here. I thought I heard it wrong, but uh, I guess they do have one here. That's in here, over there by the jungle uh, garden. And the next one is gonna be the salt mine experience. The first rock salt mine. Wow, look at this salt mine. Can I see that? Real salt. Wow. And number seven, we got the bottom line. Wow. Look at this. This looks like some uh, CNC stuff, huh? On Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, the line is not moving, but if you come here on Monday to Thursday, you can see the line moving. So they have buffalo uh, style hot sauce, habanero, sweet and spicy, green pepper sauce, garlic pepper sauce, and chipotle. Uh, comment down below and let me know which one's your favorite. And look, in Japan they have uh, Tabasco flavor chips. It's a spicy okra, stuffed Spanish olive, nacho slice. They even have a uh, Tabasco uh, slot machine. Cool, huh? All right, so that is pretty much it for the entire tour. We went by kind of quick because uh, I think it's going to rain and uh, uh, the restaurant closed at 2.30, so we just want to make sure we have plenty of time to do everything. If anything, we can just come back and uh, visit eight stations again. So right now, we're going to go uh, look at the store and then uh, maybe grab something to eat from the restaurant. So here we have the store. This is the inside of the store. You guys see all these uh, Tabasco products? We got a pen, pencil. Look at this. Magnets, everything. And back here is a, it's the tasting test. I'm gonna wait for my wife and then I'm gonna do some uh, taste testing for you guys. Right. Are you open, Mel? And can I get two icy? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Look at this. Creole pearling spice with Tabasco. Sam, can I get two icy? An icy? Uh, two of them. Okay, two of them? Yeah, one, uh, right. one cherry and one uh, blue raspberry. Okay, the blue raspberry is mixing right now. Oh, I can't do anything with it right now. Okay, uh, let's do, uh, I guess, uh, one cherry and one coke. Okay, here's your receipt back. Alright, thank you, ma'am. Here's the coach. Thank you, ma'am. And the Alright, thank you, ma'am. There you go. Alright, thank you. Thank you. Oh, let me give you some napkins. <laughs> <laughs> kind of overloaded a little bit, huh? <laughs> yeah. All right, thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. So, how does this uh, tasting work, though? Well, mild, you start on this end. Okay. Mild is down to the hottest. Oh, okay, mild is the hottest. Same thing, mild is to the hottest with the barbecue sauce. Okay, all right, thank you. From the mild to the hottest towards the end. I'm going to try for the sweet and spicy one. All right. Let's try the sweet and spicy one. It's good. Mmm. It tastes like a Tabasco, but with sweet. All right, try the sriracha one. All right, so this is a uh, Tabasco with sriracha. It hit you with the um, Tabasco first, and then towards the end, you get that sriracha flavor. It's not bad. What else you got? Habanero 
one? This one's for you to use for tasting. So this is the uh, habanero. Oh. Oh uh, yeah, sure. We just tried the habanero and it was pretty hot. So uh, let's go for the scorpion sauce. This one. It's spicy. <laughs> oh, what's the spicy? The scorpion one. Here we go. Oh, <clears throat> the habanero earlier was good, but it is not that bad compared to the scorpion. Scorpion still sting right now. Beside the hot sauce, they also have a barbecue sauce. You have honey barbecue sauce, jalapenos, original, and um, habanero jerk barbecue sauce. And they also have chilies. All right. And which one is this, man? Um, this is chili made with a spicy chili store. Spicy, oh. Yes. <laughs> All right. All right, thank you, ma'am. Mm. Wow. It's pretty good, but that scorpion. Ruin it for me. Pretty good, not too salty. I can't even tell it's spicy or not. But that scorpion. And I saw that they have Tabasco soda and Miss Angela is so let me try this first. There you go. I'm glad you got my name right. <laughs> right. Tabasco soda. Oh, I can't taste it though. Because <laughs> you know the, the scorpion sauce kind of ruined it for me. So I mean, yeah, it's like a mild um, Tabasco, a little sweet. But not bad. All right, thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. All right, let me let my wife try all this. Oh, well, look at that face. You can't even taste it. <clears throat> what does it taste like? Coke. Coke? Coke with um, Tabasco? The chili is good, though, huh? All right, we're gonna try the uh, Tabasco uh, soda again. So it tastes kind of like Coke mixed with Tabasco. Very mild flavor of Tabasco though. So not too bad. All right, so if you guys come here to the country store, make sure you guys come back here to the uh, back and do the uh, taste testing. That itself is like a whole different experience. Uh, I, I like it a lot, so uh, make sure you guys come back here and check that out. Popcorn. Yeah. Tabasco flavored cheese ball. Cheese ball, who's gonna eat that? Be the number one award-winning crackling. Crackling. And we have to support the uh, Sriracha brand, so uh, Tabasco and Sriracha. Alright, thank you. Thank you. Hey, look. Can't walk away. They got us for uh, $54 worth of stuff. Oh yeah. See, earlier this morning, my wife didn't want to go, but now, look at her. I know you're having a good time. Really? She said she just came here for the food. I don't believe her. All right, so now we're going to go to the uh, restaurant and see what is there to eat. You order right there, and then you pick up your food right there as well. Look at all this hot sauce in here, ready for you to use. Here we have the uh, menu. They have a boudin egg roll, french fry, fried pickle, Sampler, they have house salad, Caesar salad, coffee estouffe, fried seafood platter, nachos, they got chilies, chicken tender, they even got pecan pie and bread pudding. Hello, ma'am. All right, it's gonna be a, uh, can I get the uh, boudin egg roll, coffee estouffe, a cup, the nachos, and a uh, house salad, chicken and sausage gumbo, chilies, the chicken tender, the pecan pie, and the bread pudding, two drinks, one Bloody Mary, I mean, that'll be it. Thank you. Don't forget, you keep that. Mm -hmm. and All, right. All right, thank you. Ah, not too bad. We only ordered um, $71 worth of stuff. You make your own. <laughs> You make your own uh, Bloody Mary over there. Total for everything, we spent seventy-one sixty-six. So you mix your own uh, Bloody Mary here. 
to your liking. Oh, this is just regular okra? And some celery. No lime. Let me get that face first. Let's get this uh, Bloody Mary try. I don't know how you like this stuff. No, for real, this time, for real. Not me kidding. This time is a little bit salty and strong alcohol. Please come in. Hi. Thank, Thank you, you ma'am. I'm sorry for the wait. That's okay, no worries. Got a guitar spoon. And it's going to be a little while on the nachos. Okay. We have to fry some here. Yes, ma'am. That's fine. How long can we stay in here though before? Uh... Y'all can stay right here. Yeah. Hi. Alright, thank you. How old are you? I'm six. Oh, you're six? I'm three. Oh, you're three? <laughs> are you six? Which one? How old are you? Three. Three? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Daddy. You look beautiful. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. You too. Thank you look like a little princess. <laughs> <laughs> so here is the uh, budang egg roll. Here we got the uh, chilies, crawfish estouffee, chicken and sausage gumbo. And look at the house out. Let's try this budang egg roll. It tastes like um. A boudin, a fried boudin. Add in some uh, habanero sauce to this boudin. Oh, it has uh, cheese in here. I really like this habanero sauce. Good. We actually have this chili from over there. <laughs> I don't know why I got it. Mm. Wow. Nothing like this anymore. So good. It's not salty. And you taste the fresh tomato in there. It's good. And you didn't want to come today, huh? You enjoy yourself? Yep. Oh yeah. Your kind of food. Good? Oh, well, thank you. No jalapenos? No, they're not All right. Chilies with nachos. Mmm. Mm. That's what I'm talking about. Mm. Mm. Have my green for the day. Oh, I want to say this uh, coffee that's your face is extra creamy. You know what? Can I put some of this on there? Throw some Tabasco on there. Oh yeah, look at this. Full chunk of crawfish. Mm. Yeah, <clears throat> definitely creamy. I think I put a little bit too much Tabasco. So good. Mm. And yeah, they give you a lot of crawfish in here too. Mm. I think that one. I think that one though. Everything is good. And I have one dish that's not good yet. Okay, fine. The um, Bay Mary. And now we're gonna try this chicken and sausage gumbo. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, chicken and sausage gumbo is good. You can taste the uh, smokiness from the uh, sausage. Now I'm going to hit it up with some uh, Tabasco. Oh yeah. Yeah, outside it's hot, but in here it's nice and cool. Look at the fan. Mm. I think between this one and the uh, estouffee, I have to go with the estouffee, but this one's still good too. 
I didn't feel like I ordered that much food, but man, you got a bowl. Yeah. All right, let's try this bread pudding real quick. Mmm. I can't say no to bread pudding. Look at this. Oh, look at that. Mmm. I bet you it's good. Wow. Mm-hmm. I'm not even kidding. I think I used condensed milk in here or something, but it's so good. Bread pudding is so soft. Oh. Let me try one bite. You're gonna be like, mmm. I told you. Kitty, you want some? I don't know if this is a tip or not, but I'm gonna leave him a few dollars, maybe um, ten dollars, because uh, we did stay in late, so. Uh, that was uh, quite an experience. Uh, my first time here, and I truly enjoy it. My wife enjoy it, and the kid enjoy it. And so uh, next time, if I do come back to Lafayette, I will definitely be back here to do this tour. Um, the food from 1868 was quite phenomenal. Uh, especially that coffee estouffee and then the bread pudding. I can go for a second right now. Uh, even if you don't like um, Tabasco, you should definitely come here. That's a lot of cool things, you know. You might end up liking Tabasco, especially that uh, Tabasco tasting thing. It's pretty cool. So overall, this is how much we spent for the entire day here, uh, which is not bad, especially for um, half a day uh, of uh, fun. Uh, it opened from uh, 9 to 4 p.m. and we got here kind of late. We got here afternoon, so uh, yeah. And right now they do have a, like a jungle garden thing that you can go do. So we're just gonna hang out here for a little bit and then we're gonna do the jungle garden. But yeah, uh, highly recommend this place. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for staying to the end. Be sure to hit the subscribe button on your way out, and I'll see you soon. And before we leave, look at this. Tabasco whole barrel. You can buy the whole barrel for $200. Or Tabasco half a barrel for 100 bucks. You know me. Buy a whole barrel, go back, resell. Oh yeah. All right, let's go. Uh, this area right here where you can take pictures and it's really nice and everything but right next to it, it has a sign that say be aware of alligator it's right there <laughs> it's right there wow alligator oh okay i gotta go now sure. no do you want to take picture you let me know yeah yeah now you're gonna no. take off no i'm not no oh. let's go first let's park the car no it's okay <laughs> about to ring and then that's okay right there we have that temple right there but uh uh, that's okay. <laughs> All right. So in front of us, we have the uh, bird sanctuary. Wow. Uh, I'm just afraid to get out because I'm sure there's an alligator out there waiting for us. All right. So that is it for the uh, jungle garden tour. Uh, quite nice, but it's a little bit scary. And that also conclude our. 15 days road trip. All right, so you guys know before we go home, we gotta make a stop by the best stop for some boudin and some uh, crackling. Beside boudin, they also have a uh, other specialty meat here. Look at this, they got stuffed quail. When you come here, you have to get this one, smoked boudin. And make sure you get yourself some crackling as well. All right, for everything, it come out to be 46. So it's just uh, pork belly, and then uh, they deep fry it with some uh, salt and some seasoning. Man, so good. Perfect snack, on the way home. Oh yeah, highly recommend it. Well, I think it was show. I said I ain't got much, but I got somewhere to go. I got a case full of clothes and a bottle of Jack. He said, okay, so.
closer and climbed up in 